between about 30 and 40 miles per hour at times, highs reaching 62 to 68 degrees. I'm meteorologist Mike Moss in the Weather Center. Oh boy, we have some Chamber of Commerce kind of weather this week. Mostly sunny today, tomorrow, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. We got mostly sunny skies. Now the rain returns to the forecast Sunday night, Monday, and Tuesday of next week. About 50 and 50 chance of that happening, but we got nice weather all the way through the week. Right now it's 52 degrees, warming up to about 80 today. Now on Friday, it's perfect weather for that golf tournament from the Chamber of Commerce. So get your golf team out, Meadowbrook and address at the Chamber of Commerce today and get your name in the box for the big tournament on Friday at Meadowbrook. Six minutes now past 7 o'clock. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the morning wake-up call. Hour number two, my name's Bishop. Jim Bishop. Now I have these death announcements this morning. Violet N. Ward Blankenship Doddle, age 83, of Union Mills, passed away Tuesday at Fairhaven Homes, Forest City. A service to celebrate the life of Violet Doddle will be held at 2 p.m. Thursday at Crow's Funeral Chapel. Burial will follow in the Round Hill Baptist Church Cemetery. The family will receive friends from 1 until 2 prior to the service. Crow's Mortuary is assisting the family of Violet Doddle. Pearl Lurance of Rutherfordton died Sunday, April 15th at Rutherford Regional Medical Center. Funeral arrangements are pending and will be announced later by the Paget and King Mortuary and Crematory for Pearl Lurance. Mary Sue Mathis Wall, 82, of Forest City, passed away Saturday, April 14th at St. Luke's Hospital in Columbus. Funeral services will be held 3 o'clock today at Florence Baptist Church. Burial will follow in Eternal Hills Memorial Park. Visitation will be at the church from 2 until 3 prior to the service. The Pageant and King Mortuary and Crematory is in charge of the arrangements for Mary Sue Mathis Wall. Diane Henson, age 66, of Mooresboro, died Monday at Duke University Hospital. The funeral service will be conducted at 11 o'clock today at the Harrelson Funeral Chapel. Murray will follow at Cliffside Cemetery. The family will receive friends one hour prior to service time at the funeral home. Harrelson Funeral and Cremation Services has been entrusted with the arrangements for Diane Henson. Mrs. Dorothy Melton Newton, 96, of Golden Valley, died Sunday at Fairhaven Home, Flossick. The funeral will be conducted at 2 o'clock Friday at Golden Valley United Methodist Church. Burial will follow in the church cemetery. The visitation will be from 6 until 8 p.m. Thursday at Washburn and Dorsey Funeral Home. Washburn and Dorsey Funeral Home and Cremation Service, serving the family of Dorothy Melton Newton. Francis Tootsie Rhodes, age 82, of Henrietta, died Saturday at Fairhaven of Forest City. The funeral service will be conducted at noon on Thursday at the Haroldson Funeral Chapel. Burial will follow in Rutherford County Memorial Cemetery. Family will receive friends one hour prior to service time at the funeral home. Harrelson Funeral Home, serving the family of Francis Tootsie Rhodes. Pearl Virginia Whittemore, age 91, of Forest City, died Thursday, April 6th at Fairhaven. Graveside service at Eternal Hills Memorial Park will be Saturday, May 5th. McMahon's Funeral Home, serving the family. Those are the death announcements we have in house this morning. The complete information on these and others can be heard today at 1135 and then again at 510 as part of the afternoon report right here on WCAB Rutherfordton, serving the foothills of the Carolinas. Rush Limbaugh Morning Update is next. In early polls for the 2020 presidential race, guess who shows up as the Democrat frontrunner? None other than Joe Biden. And a bunch of Democrats are worried about it. Talking about Joe Biden here, a military guy called him that once, and I liked it. So this week, Political Magazine ran a mild hit job on Biden, which is no accident if you understand how Democrat power politics works, and I, of course, do. Now, the article checks off Joe's strong points. As Obama's former VP, he's got a great resume. He has access to big donors. He has high name recognition. He's a fighter, and he's a great plagiarist. But then come the butts. Senator Biden was an architect of the 1994 crime bill. It was popular back then, but now Democrats blame the law for locking up too many minorities. Biden also voted to send troops to Iraq under President Bush. That's a big red flag with today's wacko Democrat base. But here's the main reason Joe Biden is considered out of touch with post-Trump Democrat Party people. Biden connects with the white working class. Democrats say working class whites are not essential 
to the party's future. Politico says they don't even want to try to win Trump's voters back. Democrats think this is a winning strategy. We don't need any of you stupid voters that gave Trump 304 electoral college votes. We don't need you and we don't want you. And I say, good luck with that. At full speed ahead, go for it. My good friends, you have heard me wax eloquently for years now about Mahindra, the world's number one selling tractor. So when you hear Mahindra, I'm sure a hardworking, reliable, and bright red tractor is the first thing that comes to mind. But my good friends at Mahindra have an all-new utility vehicle, too. It's called the Mahindra Retriever, and it's built from the ground up right here in America. And listen to these specs. 83 horsepower engine, 60 mile per hour top speed, 2,500 pounds of towing capacity, and a three-year warranty. So hurry in. See your Mahindra dealer for a test drive or learn more about Mahindra tractors and the new retriever at MahindraUSA.com. Take advantage of rock bottom prices and test drive a Mahindra today at East Rutherford Equipment in Ellenboro or visit East Rutherford Equipment LLC.com. That's East Rutherford Equipment LLC.com. Get the best results for your marketing dollars with a professional team at WCAB. Call Tracy or Jim at 287-3356. No silly giggling, no vulgar jokes. Always family-friendly programming. From AM590, WCAB, Rutherfordton. It's time to recognize the administrative assistants in your office, and we can help you do that. Just send us the name of your administrative assistant, and we'll do the rest. Send your name on your company letterhead via fax to WCAB at 828-287-7182, or email it to us at WCAB at nctv.com. We'll have a drawing on April the 25th on the morning show, and the selected 10 will be invited to go to lunch with Jim at Don's Italian Restaurant on Friday, April the 27th. We'll supply a good meal, give away some prizes, give them the recognition on your behalf, and have them back to work in no time. So get your nomination in today. The name of the administrative assistant on your company letterhead, fax to 828-287-7182, or email to wcab at nctv.com. The name of the company they work for, or you can bring it to us here at 191 Whiteside Road in Rutherfordton. Come on, boss. She's counting on you. Here's what our customers think about McCurry Deck Chevrolet Buick GMC. I love my McCurry Deck Buick. I love my McCurry Deck Chevrolet. We, we love, love our, our McCurry, McCurry Deck, Deck GMC. GMC. We guarantee you'll love McCurry Deck Chevrolet Buick GMC for a city. I am definitely a McCurry Deck customer for life. I love the price and the McCurry Deck Customer for Life Rewards Program. It gives you up to $3,000 or more in rewards. Take the easy drive to savings. McCurry Deck for a city. Discover the rewards of being a customer for life. Meet me at Gregory's. That's what many folks say at lunchtime. Meet me over Gregory's or I'll pick you up and take you to Gregory's. Either way, get your lunch done just the way you like it to be done. You'll enjoy uh, many choices from the menu. Perfectly cooked burgers, pasta, grinders, steak, delicious sandwich or fresh garden salad. And it generally is there's a special of the day. You'll enjoy whatever that is or make your own choice. How about a salad, one trip salad bar a Order of onion rings. That's one of my favorites. Call on Gregory's for any catering event, too. Call them at 287-2171. From elaborate to simple, they can make any occasion the perfect event. Choose Gregory's today for lunch or dinner. Open Monday through Friday, 11 to 9. Saturdays, 4 until 9. And they're located right there in the Park Lane Plaza, Rutherfordton. In the early 1830s, Texas was a part of Mexico. Wanting to settle the vastness of the territory, Mexico invited Americans to come south. Before long, the approximately 20,000 Texicans became tired of the regulations put on them by Mexico and wanted their independence. So in 1833, a convention took place that adopted a constitution for an independent state. Stephen Austin took the request to Mexico and ended up spending two years in jail. When Stephen Austin got out, the revolution was at hand. The first confrontation in the battle was the Alamo. 
As we know, Santa Ana and his troops were victorious. The second strike came in March of 1836, when again Mexican troops were victorious, and the Texan survivors were shot near Goliad. Sam Houston and a ragtag group of 900 men was all that was left of the Texican resistance. Santa Ana, with the smell of victory in his nostrils, started burning everything in his path as he moved to the final destruction of the revolution. An overly confident Santa Ana with 1,400 men encamped in a poorly defendable area near the San Jacinto River. Sam Houston saw his opportunity, so on April 21, 1836, during the Mexicans' afternoon siesta, his much smaller band of Texas soldiers came down upon the Mexican regulars with screams of, Remember the Alamo and Remember Goliad. In just 18 minutes, Sam Houston was victorious. In spite of Santa Ana's past victories and that it was only a few ragtag rebels against a country, in about the time it takes for a coffee break, Mexico lost Texas. You've just heard another story from Chronicle of the Old West. I'm Dakota Livesay. Thank you very much, Dakota. 17 past the hour of 7 o'clock. Braves will be playing this evening against the Phillies right after News 13 at 6. Now let's go to the phones to get started with our call around news hour. And Corporal Green is on the phone with me right now from the Sheriff's Department. Good morning, Corporal Green. How you doing? I'm good, sir. How are you? Doing well, thank you. What's on the report from the past 24 hours? Uh, in the past 24 hours, the Sheriff's Office has responded to 142 calls, made eight arrests, currently have 175 in jail. Uh, in incident reports, we have a George Bradley of Highland Avenue in Henrietta who reported misdemeanor breaking and entering. Uh, it doesn't appear anything was stolen during that B&E. The Paul Place at 599 Highway 221A in Far City also reported breaking and entering. Uh, it doesn't appear that anything was stolen from that B&E either. A Tommy Gene Tony of Beams Mill Road Reported breaking and entering into a motor vehicle and misdemeanor larceny. Uh, it looks like keys on a key ring was stolen from the vehicle. Uh, Dollar General and Ellenborough reported misdemeanor larceny and shoplifting concealment of goods. It looks like laundry detergent and dish detergent was stolen. Uh, Lewis Elmore of Dogwood Avenue in Far City reported misdemeanor larceny. A uh, 14 carat gold diamond earrings. Uh, and costume jewelry, jewelry was stolen. Eugene Lee Jr. of Beans Mill Road reported breaking and entering to a motor vehicle and misdemeanor larceny. A uh, roll of quarters and various keys were stolen from the vehicle. Crystal Dawn Newton, also of Beans Mill Road, reported breaking and entering to a motor vehicle and doesn't appear anything was stolen from the vehicle that's listed. A Regina Gant, also from Beams Mill Road, and a Rodney Gant reported breaking and into their motor vehicle. Uh, prescription glasses, Ray-Ban sunglasses, and a gray and color Garmin Nuvi GPS was stolen. Sharon Duby of Joe Bostic Road reported misdemeanor larceny uh, via her purse. Thomas Kiger of John Henson Road in Bostic reported identity theft and felony larceny. Uh, under the larceny appears a rifle, an iPad, a 22 Derringer, a 22 rifle with a scope, and a steel chainsaw was stolen. Barbara Foster of Lincoln Drive in Far City reported misdemeanor larceny and obtaining property by false pretense, uh, $500 in cash, and some mint coins. In the arrest reports, we have a Harry Lee Truman of Shires Road who was arrested on outstanding warrant for failing to appear on a misdemeanor. A Jason Heath Taylor of 161 Delta Street in Far City was arrested for possession of Schedule 4 controlled substance. He received a thousand dollar secure bond. Jason Dwayne Bradley of 171 Paris Lane, Paradise Lane in Boston, excuse me was arrested for possession of Schedule II and possession of drug paraphernalia. He received a $10,000 secure bond. Kayla Nicole Couch of 2070 Ferry Road in Mooresboro was arrested on outstanding warrant for failing to appear on the misdemeanor. She received a $1,500 secure bond. Christopher Jennings of 150 Carver Street in Spindale was also arrested on outstanding warrant for failing to appear in court. 
His bond was $5,000 secure. A Sheila Elizabeth Elliott of 2070 Ferry Road was arrested for failing to appear on a misdemeanor. He was also, or she was also given a thousand dollars secure bond, and that's all I have for you. Governor Green, uh, I appreciate that report, and you have a safe day out there. You too, thank you. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye bye. Twenty-one minutes after seven o'clock here on WCAB in Rutherfordton, the uh, Save a Lot Grocery Store has got a bunch of specials going on. It lasts through this week through the twenty-first. If you'll stop by there, you'll find specials like T-bone steaks, family pack only three ninety-nine a pound. Chicken drumsticks are only 59 cents a pound. Tomatoes, 99 cents a pound. Green peppers, two for a dollar. Cucumbers, two for only a dollar. Get all this and more when you stop by Save-A-Lot as long as supplies last. Get your spring in full swing with super low prices from Save-A-Lot. Now, they're open Monday through Saturday, 8 to 9, and Sunday, 10 to 8, in the White Oaks Plaza in Spindle. These prices are good through April 21st. Here now is Marie with the 911 Communications Center. Marie, good morning. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great. Thanks. What's on the report? Okay, in the past 24 hours, the Rutherford County Sheriff's Office 911 Communications Center has processed 482 911 and administrative calls, which consisted of 57 for EMS, 20 for rescue. For law enforcement, the Sheriff's Department had 142. Four City had 59. Lake Lure had 5. Rutherford had 25. Spindle had 59. For fire calls, Cliffside respond to a motor vehicle accident, Sandy Must respond to a woods fire, and a structure fire assisted by Cliffside for City and SDO. And SDO respond to a motor vehicle accident. That's all I have for the morning. Thanks, Marie. Have a great day. Thanks, you too. Bye. Well, you talk about state-of-the-art. I'm talking about state-of-the-art when I talk about Ellenberg's Garage because that state-of-the-art comes into place, uh, comes in this new state-of-the-art four-wheel alignment machine. If your car has a shaking motion or a shimmering motion and you're not sure, don't let it continue. Take it on up to Ellenberg's Garage and let the pros handle it for you. You'll be back on the road in no time with a smooth ride. They'll handle all size cars and all size trucks. It's the newest one out there, and you'll find it at Ellenberg's Garage. They can also get you ready for the hot weather that's coming, and we'll have some hot weather this week. So driving without air conditioner can be terrible. So get your air conditioner repaired. Get some new tires if you need them. They can take care of all of those things. Have your car running and purring real smoothly. One stop right here locally. Run locally, own locally. That's Ellenberg's Garage. You'll find them at 110 Lowing Mill Road, right across to the old Gilkey School. Phone number is 287-7996. Let's shop local. Let's use our local folks that built their business from the ground up and doing quite well with it. Let's support local Ellenberg's Garage. Here's Ruby Taylor now with a report from Daniel Town. Good morning. Good morning. What's on your report today, Ruby? Well, the fire department assisted Sandy Mush on a structure fire along with Far City and Cliffside, and they got, had a vehicle accident. And on my birthday, birthday calendar day, I've got Kenny Cole and Mickey White having birthdays and hope they have a nice day. The signs are in the arms today and tomorrow, and that's all i got. Thanks, Ruby. I appreciate it. Have a good day. You too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Well, you know, we told you last week that Fat Tracy was moving over to the new location, Hickory Barbecue, and he should have been open on Monday. Well, he, he got a little curve thrown at him. One of the shipping companies, uh, one of the trucking companies that was supposed to brought a piece of equipment in for him, they shipped it up north instead of here. Yeah, so he, he's delayed a little bit, so he's not there yet open. He's waiting till that gets in. Supposedly should have gotten back in yesterday and He's getting all that squared up once it's wired in, figured in, and inspected. He'll be back open, hopefully, uh, real soon. Hopefully, maybe this, by this weekend or first of the week anyway. And he apologized for any inconvenience. I know many of you were coming over looking, expecting Fat Traces to be open on Monday. Well, that was his plans. But the, um, I don't know if it's FedEx or UPS or whoever it was, or maybe from the original company. Anyway, they sent, sent, his, uh, sent his, um, his product or his uh, machines equipment somewhere up montana i don't know where it was somewhere up north so they had to make a turnaround send him back so he's in the process of getting ready to serve you that delicious fat traces barbecue so stay touch uh, stay in tune here we'll let you know when that takes place but he apologizes to all of you for coming by and realizing that he was not open fat traces opening soon at the new location Let's check in on Steve now up at Rumbling Ball. Steve, did you order this nice weather? 
I did. I'm responsible for it. Good. Well, good. thank you so very much. <laughs> I get blamed for all the other bad stuff, so why not? Why not take credit for the good stuff, right? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> We're sitting here listening to this woodpecker. He's a little close for comfort. He's uh, tearing up something near us. Mm. <laughs> right outside our security gate here. Um, it's a beautiful day here. It's 48 degrees, and um, it's going to warm up pretty nicely, I understand. Yes. So uh, this jacket I'm wearing will probably come off. <laughs> Today is our first day of our short sleeves, so we're we're going into uh, we're gearing up for our uh, our just uh, busy season here in the warmer months. So, in fact, uh, this Saturday we have a um, our garden club is meeting here at 9 a.m. at Rumbling Bald, and we're going to um, go ahead and plant all of our uh, the, the first part of our first phase of our garden. So uh, for those of you who are listening and live here, come on out and, and participate in this, and uh, it'll be fun. We already got a good irrigation system set up, so all we have to do is just plant the plants and kind of do the occasional weeding or deadheading. So uh, it'll be fun. Other than that, uh, we are basically normal go. We're um, no no problems except we did yesterday. We did have those power outages and. Even as I was leaving yesterday, they had, the power had not been restored, and, um, and and that was like late in the afternoon, so that they were the, out. Is that on the property there? Yeah, uh, Young's Mountain. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, that tree fell down about 4 a.m. yesterday morning, and um, it really uh, caused a big problem all over Young's Mountain. Um, so um, hopefully by now, I don't see any more Duke trucks out here, so I'm, I think everything probably should be back to normal. So um, we don't need any more of those issues for a while. We'll have those thunderstorms coming in in the summer, and, and we'll have you know some of those issues from here and there. But um, hopefully not any for a while. All right. I hope not. I hope it's going to be a pleasant week, and I hope you can enjoy uh, everything that's coming your way. Well, you have a good day too, Jim. Thanks, Steve. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Your car only needs one place to prepare for the cooler months ahead. RS Speedy Lube Railroad Avenue Ruth. RS Express Inspection Station can get you back on the road and keep you legal. RS Speedy Lube Station has two lanes to get you in and out in no time. They carry wiper blades and will rotate your tires. Complete car care all together, including transmission flush and car wash. Count on Chris and his team to take care of all your car needs. Make it your first stop. RS Speedy Lube Service Center, Railroad Avenue in Ruth. It's time for you to test drive the affordable, fuel-efficient Ford Fusion from Sisk Family Ford in Forest City. Family-owned Sisk Ford can put you into the car you want with a payment plan you can appreciate. If it's a truck you want, get the Ford truck that's breaking records in sales. Ask about why the sales department is being bragged on with each and every sale that they make. They love your business at Sisk Family Ford, and it shows. New and used automobiles and an award-winning service department makes Sisk Family Ford the choice for so many. Step up to Ford today. Sisk Family Ford, Oak Street, Forest City. Now we're checking in on Bob Hodge. He's over there at Hudlow Fire District. And beautiful morning, Bob. How you doing? Oh, I'm just sitting here enjoying this beautiful morning this morning. Oh, isn't it nice? That's right. This is a nice hump day morning up here. I'll take oh, the rest of this week like that, won't you? That's right. Look like it's going to be chamber commerce weather yes, today sir. there. Yes, sir. Boy, the big warm-up this morning to what it was yesterday morning. <laughs> <laughs> Tip tour is a whole lot warmer there. It was plum cold yesterday morning up here. Frosty. But, uh, Days starting, I think twenty some degrees warmer there, twenty five degrees warmer. So that's a big lot difference. Uh, but uh, Jim, up here with the fire department's been quiet during the night. We've answered one a little medical call. Hadn't had any fire wreck calls, so things are running along good up here. And like I say, look like it's going to be a beautiful day. And everybody, get out and enjoy it up here. I hope so. 
So that's about it. Things are good and quiet up here this morning, and I hope you have a good day. Thanks, Bob. You too, and enjoy it, and I'll see you back here tomorrow. All right. Thanks, Bye-bye. Bob. Bye-bye. 31 minutes after 7 o'clock, Braves tonight. They'll be playing uh, the Phillies. It's uh, right after news, 13 at 6. We'll be joining that pregame. Well, if you haven't already noticed, and you will be getting to notice here pretty soon, that the pests are beginning to uh, come out. You'll find them more and more prevalent. Put a stop to it. Call Hutchins Pest Control at 287-5171. Get a free estimate when you call Hutchins Pest Control, a company that's honest, dependable, and on time. Hutchins Pest Control. You'll enjoy doing business with Tim and his family throughout the area, North and South Carolina. You'll enjoy Hutchins Pest Control Effective Service. Again, that phone number is 287-5171. I told my friend about Olmstead Plumbing, and boy, was she happy. What did she have to say? I told her to call 245-7302, and they would get right out there. And did she say she would I have... told her to ask around. Homeowners, builders, and everybody likes Olmstead. Eric and Chad Olmstead and their team understand the homeowners' needs, and I like that. They have an inventory of replacement parts and specialized equipment and tools for any job. I told her that, too. Well, what was that number again? 245-7302. That's 245 245- Yeah, I got it. 245 245- 457302 Armstead Plumbing When you want some facts about uh, better hearing if you're beginning to experience that it may be time to nip it early in the bud if you're beginning to experience uh, difficulty hearing in one or both ears go see uh, Lisa Terry at Miracle Ear in Forest City have that free hearing test doesn't cost anything for that doesn't take a lot of time either doesn't hurt any it's just very simple hearing tests and you can tell sort of how far along it is and if it's beginning to the point that you need to th- consider a hearing instrument, talk at least about the many opportunities there at Miracle Ear. Phone number is 368-4126 for that free hearing test. 368-4126. You'll find them. Forest City Office at 1512 West Main Street, Suite 102, right next to Southern Carpet. Miracle Ear. Get something done as soon as you can. Now, Sue Price is up next over in the Cherry Mountain Fire District. Good morning, Sue. Good morning, Jim. Beautiful morning over there? It's a beautiful morning over here. All right. <laughs> 40, 40 degrees I started out with, so it's going to be a pretty day. Sun's shining, birds are singing, so we've got a good day in front of us. And let's see, I have new calls from the fire department. I have new birthdays on my church calendar, on my personal calendar. I've got Jackie Price and Beatrice Lucky Do, so happy birthday to those folks. Uh, Fairview's got Cole Gurley. And First Broad has Jonathan Hunt, so... Got a few celebrating over this way, and we hope they'll all have a good day. And anybody that's having a birthday or anniversary, we wish them a very happy day. In my announcements, there's a rabies clinic coming up at Golden Valley Community Club, and that'll be Saturday, the 21st, from 2 to 4. And the charge is only $7, so come on out and get those animals vaccinated if, if they need to be. We don't want any rabies around, so, you know, animals can be responsible for your animal and bring it on out. And that is the only announcement I have. It's just a, a quiet time over here. I had not had anything else come in, so if anybody has any announcements, I'd be glad to put them on, so you just give me a call. But so far, that's it for this morning. we just wish everybody a good day, and I hope you'll have one, Jim. Thanks. So you enjoy your day as well, and I'll see you next time. Okay. Right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. And this morning we pay our respects, as the world is doing that around the nation and the world, we pay our respects to Barbara Bush, wife of George H.W. Bush, who passed away yesterday, been in declining health for some years. What a matriarch of a family that's been in the, in the makings of the world and the nation for many, many years, Barbara Bush passed on, and quite a lady, quite a lady. Now, if you're beginning to recognize in your house, and some of you say this quite often, oh, I wish I had some new carpet. Oh, I wish I could get a new floor covering. Well, it's, maybe it's time to think about doing that. Maybe it's time to talk with them over at 
Southern Carpet about a way that you can do that. They got something to fit your budget. They got the style you like, Bruce Hardwood, maybe some Appalachian Hardwood, uh, beautiful carpet, Tarkhead flooring, many things, shawl carpet, and many more. Just go talk with them and see what's best for you. Maybe one room or all the rooms. Either way, they'll be glad to accommodate you. You'll find them over there right across the road from uh, the gas company, North State Gas Company, next door there to Miracle Ear. And they got the time and willingness and uh, kindness to help you through the questions that you'll have. And sometimes there are many questions, and they've got uh, time to answer them for you. So do business with a company that's local. Do business with a company that grew their business right here. And be glad to help local folks. That's Henson Building Material in Forest City. Let me see where I'm going next. Going up to Union Mills right after this. It can be a tough call when it comes time to provide daycare services for an aging parent or loved one. Rutherford Life Care can be just what you're looking for. Rutherford Life Care offers adults a safe and fun place during the day for medical monitoring, nutritional meals, and daily activities. Rutherford Life is licensed by the State of North Carolina Division of Aging. Call them today and let them answer questions you may have. That's 288-1697, 288-1697. Rutherford Life offers a staff of professionals who show the love and compassion that you entrust your loved ones to. That's Rutherford Life Care Services, located on Thunder Road, Spindale. Again, that phone number is 288-1697. Hello, Brenda. Kelly, is this you? This is me. Is that you, Bishop? (laughs) Jim Bishop? (laughs) (laughs) Live in a living color. I hear you. Yeah. That's good. How you doing today? Doing well. Doing well. That's good. That's good. Hope you are. I am. It's a beautiful day. It's 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 warm, and we ain't got all that ice we had yesterday that killed all my pretty wild azaleas. Did it really? Yeah, I went out yesterday, and they were just beginning to get in full bloom. And I went out yesterday evening late and checked them, and the poor blooms are all drooped over and dead so i just i said oh well <laughs> probably kill mine too i have not had an opportunity to see yet look at them it's got home yeah. dark in the dark and leapt in the dark so i'm not really sure you just stay in the dark then don't you i'm in the dark a lot <laughs> <laughs> that's some of my but, friends they'll tell you jim's in the dark <laughs> <laughs> but that's all right we appreciate you uh, being our force every morning giving us the news and things mm-hmm. that's happening and, and all such as that so well, we you. appreciate it thank you i may be in the dark but i know where the light is there you go that's the main thing it's at the <laughs> end of the tunnel ain't it <laughs> uh, let's see i've got 44 degrees on the front porch birthdays today i've got my Ray roper and jim bridges i don't have anything on round here so i want to wish these people a great old big uh, day on their special day, and I was sorry to hear about the pace and the violet daddle, so yeah. I want to send my Christian love and sympathy out to her. She was a fine lady, and, and I mean, to her family, and she was a fine lady, and I was sorry to hear about the pace and the Barbara Bush. She was a fine lady also. She really was. She was a, yeah. she was a grandmother to thousands. And and I just, they was married for 73 years, and a whole lot of people can't say that, can they? That's exactly right. Yeah. They, were, they were like lovebirds, even in their elder, older age. Every day it, it, it's written that uh, George would hold her hand and say, Barbara, I love you. Well, that, that's sweet, ain't it? And that, <laughs> that, 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 it takes that to keep a marriage together sometimes. Yeah, it does. It does. And, and, and theirs lasted a long time. It sure did. Well, let's see. In ways of announcements, we got a country breakfast buffet Saturday, April the 28th from 7 to 10 a.m. This is at the... White House Community Center on Painter's Gap Road and Union Mills. Adults six dollars, children six to twelve three dollars. Under six eat free, and they got all kind of good food. And it's, get your tickets for our prime rib dinner Saturday, May the nineteenth. That's thirteen dollars and fifty cents for adult. They're gonna have a live band. Tickets must be purchased in advance at Bills Creek Hardware, Cove Corner Store, or Specialty Outdoors. And their building is for rent for. Fifty to seventy-five, uh, fifty to seventy-five dollars per day for family functions. Please contact Marie Durkett at eight two eight two eight eight six two seven one, or Lewis Gordon at eight two eight five four five seven one six one. Then we got a 
Union Mills Learning Center on Hudlow Road in Union Mills on Friday, May the 4th, 7 p.m., Bluegrass Tradition, meal beginning at 6 p.m., and the cost of that is $5, and it's going to be a vegetable plate with dessert and drink. Music begins at 7, and they have a tip jar available for the band. And other than that, I don't have nothing. So. You mentioned Violet Dowdle. She was a good friend of the radio station for a number of years. She did the report from up that way. She sure did. I, I remember that. She was a... Uh, uh, I, I remember her husband. Uh, they, they're just good. They were all good people. They were the good people. And I'm sure she'll be missed by many. Absolutely. I, I, she, she was just a sweet person. Our hearts always had out. a smile on her face. She really did. Really sweet person. Our hearts yeah. go out to all these folks who've lost loved ones. That's whose, right. Whose names are on the obituary. We send our thoughts and love out to them. Listen. And I don't. I don't guess I know of anything else going on. Well, you have a wonderful day up there. You have a good one. We'll catch you later. Thanks. I'll see you. Bye-bye. Mm-hmm. That's Brenda Kelly reporting in this morning. You know, standing over on Duke Street is a company that we're so proud they're part of Rutherford County. Henson Building Material. They're more than just a lumber yard. You know, they started out as a lumber yard back in night, uh, sawmill back in 1938. And they've evolved to meet the needs of our changing community. And now Henson Building Material on Duke Street stands tall and proud of their local heritage. They don't want to forget that local heritage, but they have really come to the point of helping you and me with our building needs, our puttering around the house needs, those uh, uh, screwing that uh, cabinet door on, all those things from electrical to plumbing to power tools to door hardware to cleaning supplies and on and on I could go. One of the many things that makes Henson Bill of Material such a popular place to shop is their customer service. Don't you hate to go into a place if you're don't, not sure where to find something, you can't find anybody to help you? I know you've experienced that. Well, you don't experience that at Henson Bill of Material. There's somebody there to help you find what you're looking for. If you have any questions about how to use it, they'll answer those questions for you as well. Why not make Henson Bill of Material your first stop? You'll see them over on Duke Street, Henson Bill of Material, more than just a lumber yard. Even duct tape, you can find. 7.30 to 5, Monday through Friday, 8 to 12 on Saturday. More than a million Americans have heart attacks each year. And if you or a loved one experiences symptoms of a heart attack, every second matters. That's why the emergency department at Rutherford Regional Health System is a chest pain accredited facility. What does that mean to you? It means quality care here at home that could save precious seconds when treating the symptoms of heart attacks. To learn more about Rutherford Regional and its commitment to safe quality care, visit MyRutherfordRegional.com. Farm Bureau Insurance doesn't hire celebrities to push auto coverage. We think people might like to make decisions based on service and savings, not just because that guy from that show says it's a good idea. Instead of faces you know from your TV, we offer faces you know from your neighborhood because we're headquartered in North Carolina with local agents right in your town. That's really the only thing we want to be famous for. North Carolina Farm Bureau Insurance, helping you is what we do best. In Rutherford County, please call 287-2428. North Carolina Farm Bureau Mutual Insurance Company, Farm Bureau Insurance of North Carolina, Inc., Southern Farm Bureau Life Insurance Company, Jackson, Mississippi, an independent licensee of the Blue Cross Blue Shield Association. Well, across the road over here at Farmer's Friend, they opened the gate early. They're ready for you to come by. They've got plenty of fertilizer, 10-10-10, uh, 9 for a 50-pound bag. I think you can buy it by the ton if you need it. They have 17 17 17 as well. And they are now an authorized dealer from Mary Tillers and an authorized dealer from Mantis Tillers, too. they got those in stock, and you can register to win a Mary Tillers. It's going to be given away here pretty soon, so go ahead and register for that. So go ahead and get your uh, things that you need for your garden. they got beautiful flowers and plants over there. And uh, this is a great place to shop for dog food, for, for plants, for gardening tools, and those kind of things. And they're open as early as 7.30 to 5.30 Monday through Friday, 7.30 to 2 on Saturdays. The entire team at Crow's Funeral Home and Cremation Services can help you with options available. They will help you find a balance between emotional, spiritual, and financial needs of your loved one. During this time, it's important to turn to someone you can trust and depend on. Crow's Mortuary and Crow's Mortuary and Crematory has a long history of trust and dependability. Crow's Mortuary and Crematory. That's 286-2304. We're scheduled to start our interviews with the school board candidates starting today. Schedule, uh, we have them scheduled to start today. We've sent out letters to all the candidates. Uh, and, and some of them have responded back. Some of them haven't. But uh, Rick Henson was scheduled to start it off with the school board, and he's scheduled to be in today. 
uh, heard back from Rick earlier this week, and I don't, there was some kind of mess up in schedule. So I'm, I'm hoping he's going to be in this morning. And then we have uh, others, the others set up and heard back from some of them. Some of them have not responded. And we've got uh, uh, all the sheriff's candidates have confirmed. One of the DA candidates has confirmed. The other one have been able has not confirmed. And two of the three school board members have confirmed. One of them has not. So we'll work it as far as it goes. And if they choose not to respond, then that's fine with me. Then we'll just move on and give everybody else an opportunity to talk about their um, the candidates and give you a chance to meet them and find out what they're all about. Meanwhile, let's stop for breakfast somewhere over at the drop-in food stores, where every morning is special. Every day is great. It is a great getting-up day anytime you stop by the drop-in food store for their biscuit special. This April biscuit special is sausage and egg biscuit for only $1.99. Yes, and top that off with a hot S&D coffee for only $0.99. Cents. Now, if you're not a coffee drinker, get some of the other specials. They've got um, two-liter Pepsi, $1.59, or three for $3.00. If you plan on doing any cooking this week, it's going to be perfect for, for that. If you need some propane, they got plenty of propane available seven days a week. Try the new flavored Sour Patch Red Berry Milkshake. All milkshakes are only two ninety eight. And remember, veterans, every day's your day. Veterans get 10% off all day, every day. Drop in food in Major League Delis or Rutherford County's Veteran Service Only Platinum Sponsors. That's important to me. And I know it is to the veterans and veterans' families. The drop-in is your hometown convenience store since 1981. They've got something good to eat right now. So come on, drop in. Not able to get Luther this morning on the phone. Don't know what's happened over there in Ellenboro, but uh, sometimes, uh, sometimes he just completely ignores us. But we're going to move on because as time running out, we'll take your birthdays and anniversaries now at 287-3356. And we'll give away some Daylight Donuts here in just a moment. The Recliner Center is happy to introduce new styles of spring air mattresses. Some come with the cool gel that you're going to love. Remember the days when you could flip your mattress? Well, spring air is now offering the flippable mattress. Check out these for a really great night's sleep. The Recliner Center is needing to make room for some new styles of lift chairs, recliners, and sofas. And you're going to get some special deals on the floor models and extra inventory in the store. Now, you always know you get the best deals in town at the Recliner Center. And now's the best time to go shopping. Check on the inventory of new recliners, sofas, and lift chairs coming in. Now, some of the styles have a new water-repellent fabric. Water beads up instead of soaking into the fabric. Leave it to the Recliner Center to offer you the best choices and best prices. Ask to see the new wall hugger style of furniture. Hours are Wednesday through Friday, 9 to 5, and Saturday, 9 to 2. The Recliner Center on Cooper's Gap Road in Rutherford. That's really something to crow about. It's the Daylight Donuts from Granny B's in Spindale. Get yours today. While they're fresh, they're good, they're delicious. It's Daylight Donuts. It's something to crow about. Happy birthday. Well, happy birthday to Jack Matheny of Forestry. Jack turns 88 today, so congratulations to Jack. Summer Bennett over in Rutherford is having a birthday today. Cheryl Honeycutt up in Gilkey. Suzanne Hostclaw. Volunteer Director at the Hospital. She's having a birthday today. Also, we want to wish Marie Roper and Jim Bridges happy, happy birthday. So all these folks, happy birthday. And those that were called in will be in the drawing now for the Daylight Donuts from Granny B's. And that's coming up in just a moment.
Donner Atwood in Reformed Review relates the story of a father and son who were fleeing from a building being bombed during World War II. The father quickly leaped into a bomb crater in the front of their home. The son paused on the edge of the large hole, afraid to proceed farther because of the darkness. His father called to him to jump, but fear gripped him. The boy responded, Dad, I can't see you. The burning buildings in the background created a silhouette of the little boy that the father could clearly see. As the father looked up, he yelled to his boy, But I can see you. Jump. The boy went ahead and jumped into the arms of his waiting father out of simple trust. He couldn't see his father, but he trusted him. In a similar way, God asks us to trust him. He instructs us to give when mentally we think we ought to be keeping for ourselves. Our reasoning is that we will never have enough if we give to someone else. The writer of the Proverbs says, one man gives freely yet gains even more. We don't see how someone can give away and yet gain, but that's what God wants us to do. God says, jump, just try me. The Bible also says, a generous man will prosper. He who refreshes others will himself be refreshed. If you have been hoarding your life because you didn't think you had enough to share with others, why not take a big jump of faith and give freely to someone else? This is Bill Hostler with today's key to confident living. And a big congratulations going out to Jack Matheny of 4AC. Jack's 88, and he has won the donuts. De La Donuts from Granny B's. Now, coming up next hour, a little after 8 o'clock, about 8.05, we're scheduled to have Rick Henson in to talk about his candidacy for school board. And the 8.30, of course, this morning is Word of Faith Fellowship back in the studio uh, giving their side of the story. Uh, you've been hearing the other side. Is now, now you can hear the Word of Faith uh, to uh, defy those stories right here live from the studio. No one else is reporting their side, but now they are right here on this program. 8.30 this morning, you can hear members of the Word of Faith Fellowship tell their side of the story. Yes, me. Former First Lady Barbara Bush is being remembered as a fiercely loyal wife and mother and a leading public servant in her own right. The wife of President George H.W. Bush and the mother of President George W. Bush died at her home yesterday. Mark Strassman is there. The former First Lady has been battling health issues for years now. She had a thyroid condition along with heart and lung issues. But right to the end, her family says she was alert, talkative, and enjoying her favorite bourbon. U.S. Attorney General Jeff Sessions was in Raleigh yesterday where he announced a new DEA plan to combat the opioid crisis that will propose a way to change the opioid production limits. Under this proposed new rule, if DEA believes a company's opioids are being diverted or misused, then they will be able to reduce the amount of opioids the company can produce. There is now word a chemical weapons inspection team has still not been able to visit the site of an alleged chemical weapons attack against civilians in Syria. CBS News correspondent Cammie McCormick. Yesterday, Syrian state media said the team had entered Duma, but later said only a U.N. advance team made it in. The inspectors from the Organization for the Prohibition of Chemical Weapons are still waiting. The State Department says the evidence is at risk of decaying as the delays drag on. It's now been 11 days since the alleged attack outside Damascus. Buggum County is forming a capital funding committee.
committee comprise of principals and other school leaders and will be recommending hiring a consultant team of school security experts. Tim Fairley is director of facilities for the school district and tells WLOS News. It will be a team and they will come as one entity and we'll choose the best team. A North Carolina City Councilwoman is questioning the reality of 9-11 terrorist attacks. Charlotte City Council member Lawana Mayfield posted on Facebook yesterday. You're listening to NCN News. First place in election reporting. First place in editorials. Another honor for news enterprise reporting. Carolina Journal earned all three awards from the North Carolina Press Association. When Carolina Journal watches government, people pay attention. Available each month as a free newspaper. Every day online at carolinajournal.com. Carolina Journal, your number one source for government news that affects you. Visit carolinajournal.com today. For 31 years, Merle Fest, presented by Window World, has delivered music, moments, and memories to thousands. Join us April 26th through the 29th as some of music's greatest stars gather to perform at this annual musical homecoming. Here, Steep Canyon Rangers with special guests Steve Martin, Chris Christopherson, Jamie Johnson, The Mavericks, Bela Fleck and Abigail Washburn, Robert Earl Keane, Rihanna Giddens, Tommy Emanuel and Jerry Douglas, Sam Bush, Mandolin Orange, and more. Visit MerleFest.org today for a full lineup and tickets. An engine blew up on a twin-engine Boeing 737 Southwest Airlines plane in midair bound from New York to Dallas with 149 people aboard yesterday. A 43-year-old mother of two from New Mexico was killed when she was partially sucked out of a window broken by shrapnel from the engine. A preliminary examination of the blown jet engine by the National Transportation Safety Board shows metal fatigue. CBS News Transportation and Safety Analyst Mark Rosinger. After a similar incident that occurred back in August of 2016 on the Southwest Airlines jet, the uh, European Aviation Safety Administration began to look at this and then ultimately decided to require an ultrasonic inspection of these engines looking for any type of fan blade fatigue. Sheriff's deputies in North Carolina have arrested a man wanted on multiple charges after a woman was reported missing. The Lincoln County Sheriff's Office says that 43-year-old Brian Edward Leatherman of Vail is charged with first-degree forcible rape and other charges. President Trump says he is looking forward to meeting North Korean leader Kim Jong-un. The president told reporters it would probably happen in early June and that five locations are being considered for the summit. Robert Kelly is a professor of political science at Pusan National University in South Korea. Speaking via Skype, he says he thinks the summit is very risky. Very, very concerned the president is not going to be prepped for this and is going to wander into this and make some kind of concession he doesn't really understand as a concession. I think he already did that in giving away a U.S. presidential summit to the North Koreans, which is going to be on propaganda TV loop in North Korea for the next 20 years. He gave that away for nothing. New figures show recent graduates of a now-closed law school in North Carolina all fail their bar exam. The Charlotte Observer report 11 graduates of the Charlotte School of Law that took the bar exam for the first time in February. Get your message to the thousands. Call the WCAB sales department today at 287-3356. From ABC News, I'm Daria Aldinger. Signs of metal fatigue showing up in the engine that blew apart at 30,000 feet, crippling a Southwest Airlines jet. That's what the NTSB is now saying. Shrapnel shattered a window, and witnesses say a woman was nearly sucked out. The minute they said, we need someone who, who knows CPR, I got up and went back, took off my oxygen mask, went back. And we began CPR immediately. Peggy Phillips was among the passengers trying to save the life of 43-year-old Jennifer Reardon. Reardon, a mother of two from New Mexico, eventually died from her injuries. At least seven others hurt. This morning, passengers praising the pilot, Tammy Jo Schultz, as a hero for her quick-thinking actions. Schultz was one of the Navy's first female pilots. ABC's David Curley. There are new details this morning about a secret meeting between the president's nominee for Secretary of State, Mike Pompeo, and North Korea's leader. Here's ABC News Chief White House Correspondent Jonathan Carl. This meeting happened in absolute secrecy, the highest level meeting of a U.S. official with the leader of North Korea in almost two decades. And it's an indication of just how serious President Trump is about wanting to have that one-on-one -on -one summit 
with Kim Jong-un. President Trump this morning is tweeting about Stormy Daniels. The president reacting to the sketch revealed by the adult film actress and her attorney yesterday of a man she says threatened her to keep quiet about the affair she claims she had with Mr. Trump, an affair the White House says he denies. The president writing on Twitter, quote, a sketch years later about a non-existent man, a total con job playing the fake news media for fools. ABC's Karen Travers. Funeral plans are now being made for former First Lady Barbara Bush. She died yesterday. Mrs. Bush, who was only the second American to be the wife of one president and the mother of another, was 92 years old. You're listening to ABC News. Okay, so the big question for any decision you're going to make, is this actually going to work? Well, if you've heard about MediShare, which is a brilliant way of sharing health care costs, you may have wondered that. Does it work? Well, so did Dr. Stuart Hoover, who initially joined to save a lot of money. The typical family saves about $500 a month. Stuart saved even more. When we first joined uh, MediShare, we were immediately going from a little over $1,600 a month down to uh, $460, basically, a month. So that's wonderful, but then his wife needed emergency surgery, and the bills added up to $160,000. So we were seeing the bills coming in, and then the bills were being paid. Portions were being shared, and the end result of this is this bill was taken care of. Yes, MediShare works, and it's so easy to get your questions answered, too. So why not? You can call right now, 877-26-BIBLE. That's 877-26-BIBLE. 877-26-BIBLE. We're now hearing the call made by the manager of a Philadelphia Starbucks that led to a pair of black men being taken out in handcuffs. ABC's Lindsay Davis with the 911 tape. I have two gentlemen at my cafe that are refusing to make a purchase of these. We say that call was made after the men were denied access to the bathroom. The two black men were arrested for trespassing and handcuffed. On Monday, the CEO of Starbucks apologized to both men in person, and the company announced it will close all locations the afternoon of May 29th to train all 175,000 employees employees in racial bias education geared toward preventing discrimination and to ensure everyone inside a Starbucks store feels safe and welcome. ABC's Lindsay Davis. The Marine General in charge of family programs has been pulled from that post after making some inappropriate comments. Here's ABC Stephanie Ramos. It was during a town hall that Marine Brigadier General Kurt Stein described press reports about a sexual harassment investigation at his command as fake news. That's according to a defense official familiar with the investigation. The official says Stein also joked about a Navy chaplain who had recently been fired from his post in New Orleans for sexual misconduct, saying that chaplains are getting more action than aviators. Stein, who also oversees the Sexual Assault Prevention and Assault Office, office was removed from his post. Stein remains on administrative leave. Stephanie Ramos, ABC News, the Pentagon. This is ABC News. It's time, time to join the millions of people that meet happy with Zoom video conferencing. Zoom gives you flawless video, crystal clear audio, and instant sharing across any mobile, tablet, or desktop device. But the best thing about Zoom? It just works. So ditch the distractions, join the movement, and meet happy with Zoom video conferencing. Visit zoom.us to set up your free account today. That's zoom.us. Zoom video conference. Fellow citizens, let's support our sheriff of seven plus years for re-election May 8th. Candidates that talk the talk have to walk the walk, and Sheriff Chris Francis has clearly done the walk. For accountability and proficiency, Sheriff Francis assigned professionals to supervise each division. This, along with training, changing to straight shifts, and upgrading of uniforms for better mobility, has increased the rest and lowered the crime rate. He increased the 1K9 unit to 4 and initiated a program in the jail to fight opioid addiction. Because Sheriff Francis cares, he lectures on various crimes such as scams on the seniors, domestic terrorists in churches, and how to safely store and dispose prescription drugs. His leadership and management skills were best described by a highly respected law enforcement professional who said that Sheriff Chris Francis is, without a doubt, the most dedicated, aggressive, crime-suppressing sheriff Rutherford County has had in the last 30 years. Vote for Sheriff Chris Francis, the one with proven experience, paid for by the committee to elect Sheriff Chris Francis. North Carolina Tractor Supply, your Massey Ferguson dealer in Rutherford and has some really great ideas this year. This could be the year for you to get that Massey Ferguson you've been wanting. 
Stop by today and see what Massey Ferguson and Phil Sheehan at North Carolina Tractor Supply have for you. Check to see if you qualify for 0% financing. Today could be your day at North Carolina Tractor Supply, Railroad Avenue, Rutherfordton. High pressure southeast of us should leave us with plenty of sunshine today. It may be partly cloudy on occasion in some areas. It'll be breezy and a lot warmer than yesterday with highs around 76 to 81. Tonight will be mostly fair and mild. Look for lows in the mid to upper 50s. Then on Thursday, partly to mostly sunny. It'll be windy and cooler tomorrow. May see some wind gusts between about 30 and 40 miles per hour at times. Highs reaching 62 to 68 degrees. I'm meteorologist Mike Moss in the Weather Center. Not much more I can say about the weather, but it's beautiful. I love it. 55 degrees right now, warming up to about 80 around here. And then 64 tomorrow, dropping back a little bit. Then Saturday, 69 for the sunny skies. And then on Sunday, 68 for the high. Now, we have a wind gust today up to about 26 miles per hour tonight, 24 miles per hour. So dropping back to 52, that wind's going to make it feel a little bit cooler, but not too bad. Wind gusting tomorrow to 24 miles per hour. 21 miles per hour on Thursday. So they, that March wind is still among us, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Sunday, pretty good day. We are expecting more scattered showers to return Sunday night and then Monday, Monday night, and Tuesday. But the rest of the week, you could not ask for better. It's a Chamber of Commerce kind of weather. Speaking of which, Friday's going to be the perfect day for a golf tournament. Yep, the Chamber of Commerce is doing their spring golf tournaments Friday at Meadowbrook. And you're invited to participate, bring your team on in, talk with the Chamber of Commerce folks today and get signed up. There'll be some really, really good prizes. Food's going to be served about 1130 to 1230. Shotgun start at 1245. And uh, get your team together and come on over and enjoy that day with us. Beautiful day on the links on Friday. And supporting the Chamber of Commerce while you're doing it. After all, this is Chamber of Commerce kind of weather, so why not play golf in that weather, right? 55 again right now, and congratulations to Jack Matheny of Forest City. Jack turns 88 today, and he just won the Daylight Donuts earlier this morning from the drawing. So we congratulate Jack Matheny and wish him a great old big happy, happy birthday. Well, scheduled this morning to be with us for a uh, for an interview for his candidacy for school board was Rick Henson. Now, in all fairness to Rick, uh, he did try to make communications with us earlier in the week. I believe it was Monday, maybe. And he, he caught me at a, when I had a very small, thin line of opportunity there before I had to get back on the air. So I didn't have really time to talk with him. He said somebody needed to may want to change his time or work out something because of uh, something going on with his with his health. So I didn't have a chance to talk with him any further. He did not get a chance to call me back. So we do not know at this point where that stands. He is not here for the interview, has not called back in. So I'm hoping everything's okay with me. But anyway, in all fairness to him, he, he did not ignore us, but he did try to respond back. But I just had a small window of opportunity to chat with him when he called uh, between uh, before getting set up to the next uh, uh, program. So I couldn't talk with him, find out what his needs were. But um, if he calls in in the next few minutes and shows up in the next few minutes, we'll try to get him in. But meanwhile, tomorrow, the 19th, we're scheduled to have Drew Radford in. He's also running for school board. have not heard anything back from him. I've tried to get word to him uh, to see if he uh, would like to be on. have not heard back from him at all. On Friday the 20th, Brandy Nanny, who is also running for that school board seat, has confirmed that she will be here Friday morning. Now, on the 24th, That'll be next Tuesday. Uh, Garland Byers has agreed he'll come in for his interview. He's running for DA. And then on the 25th, uh, District Attorney Ted Bell will be in to give his interview. And then on the 27th, we start with the sheriff's candidates. The 27th, Joey Brandle has agreed to come. And we've already interviewed Wayne Guppy. We did his earlier due to his request that we move his schedule around. So we did that to accommodate him. So we had him back earlier uh, also, so on the 3rd, on May the 3rd, which will be a Thursday, May 3rd, Steve Theodopoulos will be in. He's running for sheriff. And then on the 4th, Chris Francis, the sheriff, will be in for his interview. And that'll wrap it up and be getting close to the um, to the primary, which, by the way, is coming up in early part of May. 
So those, that's how it shakes out right now. So Rick is not with us this morning, and I we'll apologize for that. And I regret I couldn't talk with him when he called, but I just had a, just about 30 seconds break in there, window of opportunity. I could not talk with him and rearrange anything. So anyway, that's the reason he's not here. But we're going to move on. We have other things we can talk about this morning, and, and we'll do that when we do this. Have you heard the three big lies about Medicaid eligibility? First, if you need a nursing home, Medicaid will take your house. That's not true. Second, if you transfer assets, you have to wait 60 months to qualify. That's not true. And third, if you're already in a nursing home, it's too late to protect your assets. That's not true. Please call attorneys Gerald N. Willis, Ken Baldwin, or Martin Gerard at the Arledge Law Firm for a free consultation and learn the truth about Medicaid and eligibility and nursing home care in North Carolina. It's more likely than you think that you may qualify and not lose everything you own. Call the Arledge Law Firm today at 287-3338, located on East Court Street in Rutherford. And again, that's 287-3338. Hello, this is Dwayne Hunt with Insurance Services Associates. Are you on disability? Or maybe you're on Medicare, or maybe both. Come see me, Dwayne Hunt at Insurance Services Associates, about a Medicare Advantage product brought to you by Humana. Please give me a call, 245-5301 at Insurance Services Associates, 127 East Trade Street, for a city. Hi, I'm Steve Theodoropoulos, and I'm running for sheriff. We are at a true crossroads in our community. We need change and strong leadership. We face difficult choices. Crime in our county is up. We have a major drug problem. Property crime is up as well, and a current sheriff who is not dealing with the issues. First, I will develop a citizen's review board so the community has a voice at the sheriff's office. Second, as a retired state trooper and federal agent, I will bring a no-nonsense approach to fighting crime in our community. It is time the good old boy system find a new home. Elect me on May 8th, and I will bring accountability and transparency back to the sheriff's office. Paid for by Steve Theodoropoulos, Republican for Sheriff. 13 minutes after 8 o'clock now, let's look at some stories from here and there. Daily Courier is reporting about a woman sentenced for embezzlement. A Mooresboro woman, Kelly Sue Reynolds of Mooresboro, has been, in, has been sentenced to 24 months in prison, three years supervised release, and ordered to pay $556,760 in restitution, of which 117300 is payable to the IRS, and four hundred thirty nine thousand four hundred sixty dollars to Reynolds' former employer to repay the funds she embezzled. The sentencing was Thursday, April twelfth. Evidence presented at the guilty plea hearing established that Reynolds was the bookkeeper for a firm located in Cherokee County, South Carolina. As part of her duties, Reynolds paid bills for the firm, including the payment of various federal taxes. In twenty fourteen, the Internal Revenue Service conducted an audit of the firm Reynolds worked for due to the fact that certain taxes had not been paid. During the course of that audit, Reynolds admitted that over a five-year period, she had embezzled $439,459.97 from her employer. Reynolds further stated that she had covered up the embezzlement by falsifying, falsifying the books, showing that she had paid bills which she in fact had not paid, included in the unpaid bills were the missing taxes, which started the investigation. It was further t- determined that Reynolds had not filed personal tax returns during those years that she was embezzling funds. Meanwhile, officers with the Rutherford County Sheriff's Office are investigating the breaking and entering of at least six vehicles in the Beams Mill Road area of Ellenboro, which were broken into Monday night. Some of the items taken were a Garmin GPS, Ray-Ban sunglasses, and other miscellaneous items. A 2012 Nissan Altima bearing North Carolina license plate EDA 4369 was stolen from one of the residences. I believe that one has now been recovered. If anyone else was a victim in this incident, contact Rutherford County Communications Center at 828-286-2911. There'll be more on that on the Sheriff's Report coming up here in just a few moments. Well, the town of Rutherford had lost a prominent member of the community, Enrique Vega, 65, of Court Street Monday. He was the owner of Small Town Coffee Roasters, located on Court Street, and was also instrumental in the formation of the fun, the Fridays Unplugged on Central Musical Events, which began its first season in 2015. The Spindell Board of Commissioners adopted a resolution Monday supporting a quarter-cent sales tax referendum to benefit Rutherford County Schools. The referendum, which citizens will see on the primary ballot, 
May primary ballot essentially adds 0.01 tax to every $4 spent in the county. This extra penny would go toward the capital needs of the county school system, including safety updates to several facilities. Much needed uh, update is uh, should we should do much needed. So that uh, quarters and sales tax, no property tax, that no property tax increase, only sales tax, and uh, much of that will come from folks uh, traveling through, such as when we go somewhere else and visit, buy something in some of the other states. We're leaving our money at those states because their taxes are staying there, staying in other people's motels, someplace else. Their taxes are staying there. So same way when folks visit here, when they spend money here, their money stays here with us. Asheville police are asking for your help to find Kenneth Anthony Hope. They say Hope's family has not heard from him since March 19th. His family says Hope had been staying in a homeless camp near a McDonald's and camps with a, with an uh, a person who goes by the name of Cowboy. Hope is described as a white male, 37, with blonde hair and several tattoos on his upper right arm. He previously wore a shaved haircut and glasses. If anyone has any information on the whereabouts of Kenneth Anthony Hope, they're encouraged to contact the Asheville Police Department at 252-828-252-1110 or Crime Stoppers at 828-255-5050. Well, Barbara Bush didn't hesitate to tell people that her trademark pearl necklaces were fake. Americans like that. Everything else about the snowy-haired first lady was real. The wife of the nation's 41st president and mother of the 43rd brought a plain-spoken, grandmotherly style to button-down Washington, displaying an utter lack of vanity about her white hair and wrinkles. George Bush... <clears throat> What you see with me is what you get. I'm not running for president. George Bush is, she said, at the Republican National Convention, where her husband, then vice president, was nominated to succeed Ronald Reagan. Mrs. Bush died Tuesday, according to a statement from a family spokesman. She was 92. A funeral is planned Saturday at St. Martin's Episcopal Church in Houston, which Mrs. Bush and her husband, former president George H.W. Bush, regularly attended. Mrs. Bush will lie and repose Friday at the church for members of the public who want to pay respects. Saturday service will by, be by invitation only, according to the George Bush Presidential Library Foundation. The Bushes, who were married on January the 6th, 1945, had the longest marriage of any presidential couple in American history. And Mrs. Bush was one of only two first ladies who had a child who was elected president. The other was Abigail Adams, wife of John Adams and mother of John Quincy Adams. She wrote in a 1994 memoir describing her time in the White House. I had the best job in America, she said. Every single day was interesting, rewarding, and sometimes just plain fun. The publisher's daughter and oil man's wife could be caustic in private, but her public image was that of a self-sacrificing, supportive spouse who referred to her husband as her hero. In the White House, you need a friend, someone who loves you, who's going to say, you're great, Mrs. Bush said in a 1992 television interview. Her uncoiffured matronly appearance often provoked jokes that she looked more like the boyish president's mother than his wife. Late-night comedians quipped that her bright white hair and pale features also imparted an uncanny resemblance to George Washington. That's the way that liberal crowd always make fun of somebody, don't they? Eight years after leaving the nation's capital, Mrs. Bush stood with her husband as their son, George W., was sworn in as president. They returned four years later when he won a second term. Unlike Mrs. Bush, Abigail Adams did not live to see her son's inauguration. She died in 1818, six months, I'm sorry, six years before John Quincy Adams was elected. Mrs. Bush insisted she did not try to influence her husband's politics. I don't fool around with his office, she said, and he doesn't fool around with my household. She had a quick wit. In 1984, her quick wit got her into trouble when she was quoted as referring to Geraldine Ferraro, the Democratic vice presidential nominee at the time, as that $4 million dollar I can't say it, but it rhymes with which, end quote. It was dumb of me. I shouldn't have said it, Mrs. Butch acknowledged in 1988. It was not attractive, and I've been very shamed. I apologize, Mrs. Ferraro, and I would apologize again. Daughter-in-law, Laura Bush, another first lady, says Mrs. Bush was ferociously tart-tongued from the start. She's never shot away from saying what she thinks. She managed to insult nearly all of my friends with one or another perfectly timed assertive comment. 
Spoken from the Heart. In a 1994 autobiography of Barbara Bush, a memoir, she said she did her best to keep her opinions from the public while her husband was in office, but she revealed that she disagreed with him on two issues. She supported legal abortion and opposed the sale of assault weapons. So she was a fun, uh, was loved by many, although she was uh, quite witty. That's some of the tributes being offered to Barbara Bush. It's 21 minutes now past 8 o'clock. And the Sheriff's Report coming up with Corporal Green in just a moment. Did you know that Rutherford County's largest pediatrics practice has five providers to serve the children and youth of this area? And even better, Rutherford Children's Care is welcoming new patients. With three physicians and two mid-level providers, the group is available to examine, diagnose, and treat patients from birth to age 18. Rutherford Children's Care is conveniently located at 162 Commercial Drive in Forest City, just behind Big Dave's Restaurant. To schedule an appointment, call Rutherford Children's Care at 828-287-9325. Hi, this is Tammy with the Home Medical Department at Smith's Drugs of Forest City. We have a 10-in-1 flip pillow that will help with comfort for sleeping or reading and can be used to elevate the knees and it can help ease back muscles and is hypoallergenic for $34.99. Come see us at the Home Medical Department at Smith's Drugs in Forest City, 139 East Main Street. Now here is Corporal Green with the Sheriff's Report. In the past 24 hours, the Sheriff's Office has responded to 142 calls, made eight arrests, currently have 175 in jail. Uh, in the incident reports, we have a George Bradley of Highland Avenue in Henrietta, who reported misdemeanor breaking and entering. Uh, it doesn't appear anything was stolen during that B&E. The Paul Place at 599 Highway 221A in Far City also reported breaking and entering. Uh, it doesn't appear that anything was stolen from that B&E either. A Tommy Gene Tony of Beams Mill Road reported breaking and entering into a motor vehicle and misdemeanor larceny. Uh, it looks like keys on a key ring was stolen from the vehicle. Uh, Dollar General in Ellenboro reported misdemeanor larceny and shoplifting concealment of goods. It looks like laundry detergent and dish detergent was stolen. 